We are an LA-based cold-pressed juice company. We're sourcing local ingredients from all over the West Coast, hence the name Little West, but we'll dive into that later. Yeah. We're known for having a really high quality product. We small batch everything. We are 24 hours farm to bottle, which means we're basically sourcing our produce and pressing it and bottling it all within uh, 48 hours. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We're known for the quality of our product and uh, and we love building. She said 24, products. but really it's, oh, it's we're pushing 48. It's 48. We're pushing 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's still pretty good. Two we're not days. holding you to it. No one's <laughs> Yeah. Going that to your place with a stopwatch. <laughs> it's it. This is tasting like 49 hours, yeah. to be honest. When you guys started, so there's a part of your website where you talk about your wedding. Yes. And instead of doing a wedding, you decided to start a company. Can you share a little bit about that? Definitely. Yeah, we, so we had an opportunity to open up our first storefront. And it was right at the time where I kept on asking her, I said, babe, we should get married. We've been we'd engaged, been engaged, for, we'd for, been engaged three for, for three years. Okay. I said, so okay. like, what's the deal here? We should, we should probably pick a venue, <laughs> do something, invite friends, have a party at least, whatever. And it was my birthday weekend and we had had a reservation that we had booked at French Laundry up in Napa. Yeah. yeah. It was like kind a bucket, of a bucket list. list. Such, sure. such a, a dream right. that we had always wanted to treat Thomas Keller, to. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so we were just, we just were, you know, felt grateful that we got on the list finally to get, uh, have a lunch there. And it was my birthday weekend. And so a couple days passed and I, I said to Cassandra, I'm like, this, this might be a great opportunity for us to get married as well. What do you think? Mm. What, what if we go up there and get married this way we can save money on a wedding. Right. We can just elope and we can put a, a portion of the money that we had put aside for this wedding. And her parents had generously set aside set some, aside some money. money. There's three us. daughters you know, oh, wow. mom, mom yeah. and dad have three daughters. So they wow. put a little, little money aside for us. And we said, look, let's not spend all this money on a wedding and just goes into the, you know, the ether, the abyss and, and let's put it into the storefront and just have a great time going to French laundry. And at the same time, I was looking for a career change. We didn't know what that business was, but I was looking for a career change. Had spent six years in the fashion business was, I really don't care about clothes. I just eat, sleep, and breathe food. That's mm -hmm. really She said cool. she was selling clothes to women that didn't need any more clothes. Yeah. yeah. The whole time gotcha. she's like, yeah, so it, it just wasn't super clothes. fulfilling. Yeah. And at home, we were just really passionately, at the time, making cold pressed juices and making smoothies. And we were just kind of getting into like a really- I love how you say passionately making cold pressed juices. <laughs> <laughs> just like, ah, throw the camera When I say passionately, and visual. we will, yeah, yeah, I promise we'll get beautiful. to the storefront yeah. eventually. But the reason why I say passionately is, we're really passionate about inspiring people around us to be healthier. Yeah. And I think like when we get on a kick of something, there's purpose there. Yes. We want everyone else to be on it with us. And we want to share that the excitement that we have, because if we're feeling good, we feel like other people can feel good doing the same thing. So basically we had an opportunity, friends of ours who have a yoga studio right here on La Brea in LA, they were expanding. They basically told us one night over dinner, and Andrew's like, you guys, if you can carve out 200 square feet from that yoga studio, we'll open up a juice bar. And they were like, yeah, let's do it. So we're cheersing, having wine. And then the next morning, I remember waking up and being like, wait a second. Did we just agree that I'm quitting my career of six years and opening up a 200 square foot juice bar with our wedding money? Because at this point, we had just eloped. That does sound crazy. And we were like, yeah. what are we going to do? Yeah. And Andrew goes, yeah, I think we should do it. Risk taker? Not risk taker. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically, within six months of that, we opened up a juice bar. So, I mean, it was just totally nuts. We had no clue what we were doing. We leaned on friends of ours who had restaurants to learn how to purchase produce. We didn't even know, like, what's a bunch of celery? What's the weight of a case? Like, so that was all part of it. But we essentially opened up this little juice bar. And the story is, yes, we took the money that friends and family had lent us, some money, a little bit of money that we had put away. And we opened up a 200 square foot juice bar without thinking about anything else. 